my beautiful Nicolettes. Welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. Today I'm excited to do this video because I haven't done a video like this in I think it's been a year now since I did a last video about Instagram and I'm always getting asked questions to do a video like this and I've done a few before which I'll link down below and you guys seem to enjoy those ones so I thought it was time for me to finally do an updated one on how to grow your Instagram or become Instagram famous and just how to overall I guess like I said grow your Instagram and these are my best tips that I can give to you guys that you can use and hopefully they are helpful. Speaking of Instagram there's actually this thing I've been doing and that is if you go over right now to my Instagram, you follow me and you comment on my latest post that I upload, I will go spam you as long as your accounts are not private. So make sure you guys go get your booties over there and I will go spam your accounts. But that being said, let's just jump into this video. Let's jump into the tips. And your girl is prepared today because I wrote notes guys. <laughs> I'm gonna begin first with your actual Instagram feed and then I'm gonna move on to the tips on how to get more followers and stuff like that. We're gonna begin first with I guess the tip of just like setting up your Instagram, getting it started. So of course you have to decide what you want to do and there's always like so many different types of Instagram accounts. There's travel accounts, there's food Instagram accounts, fashion, all that stuff. I'm really into I guess more I've been really getting into fashion and I've been posting a ton of my outfits and just also kind of things that I've been doing to update you guys so definitely if you want to kind of get to know me a little bit better follow me on there or my other social media selfless shameless self plug <laughs> always in the description box but once of course you obviously have your Instagram started my first tip is to have a really nice feed so a lot of people are really stepping up the game and have such beautiful Instagram feeds so you have to really once again think about what you guys want to do what is it for maybe it's for your business your clothing store all that stuff so really just think of it theme that you want to go for. My theme I guess is kind of always does change because I just like to kind of take good quality bright photos. That's just like my type of thing. I want it to be bright, vibrant. A lot of my photos are outside so it's just a lot of scenery in the outdoors and stuff like that. And with having a beautiful feed comes uploading consistently. So you need to be able to upload consistently and a little tip that I have for you guys is once in a while my friends and I will have little photo shoots and something I like to do during these photo shoots is I'll bring different outfits and stuff like that or I'll even bring different pieces and what I suggest is if you're gonna do that spend a good amount of time or spend take a day out and just take a ton of photos so taking photos from different angles adding one or two things such as for example when I do outfit pose having a jacket over my shoulder having it on and then taking the jacket off and doing photos with without the jacket it just looks a little bit different and doesn't look like it was all done in one day and also getting different angles so, so for myself when I go out I'll take my whole outfit or I'll just take parts of my outfit like I'll take a picture of just my shirt if there's like uh, jewelry on it and stuff like that just little different things and doing different angles from up top doing your full body doing just your um, from your waist up it's uh, it's good to just take a variety of photos and to be able to spread that out so you don't have to take photos like every single day because who has time to do that and who really does take photos every single day because you know this girl is not looking put together like half of the week <laughs> I would just suggest doing a binge fest when it comes to, with photos if you're gonna have like a photo shoot day and just do different angles have use different for props and stuff like that and my little tip as well as it's really important to have really good quality photos so another tip is also if you are going to take photos I suggest doing it during days of overcast not when it's super sunny and bright I just find the photos don't turn out as well though I do find if you do take photos before it's gonna the Sun's gonna set or when the Sun's rising that gives you really nice photos and gives you different lighting in your photos but if it's just like an average day, I prefer to do my photos when it's overcast, when it's not like super bright and you can't even, like your eyes are just squinting in the sun and it's just like so hard to take photos. So once again, definitely recommend overcast, guys. <laughs> I like to take my photos with a DSLR, but sometimes I do like to use an iPhone and iPhone quality cameras are so good, especially like the more new the iPhone becomes, the better the camera is getting. So you can honestly just use your iPhone camera or your, your phone camera camera and as well as sometimes I do like to take out my DSLR and take photos with it and have like kind of professional photos. I just really enjoy that and I've 
started really getting into photography as well and just like taking photos I really enjoyed doing it so that's why I like to use my camera a lot of the times as well now we're gonna move on to actually building your Instagram on how to get those followers so the first thing is to follow Instagram accounts that you're interested in their feeds and things like that so make sure you're following accounts whether that's fashion accounts art accounts food accounts travel accounts and with following people make sure you're stay every time you go on your Instagram so every time you get on your phone and you're on Instagram comment on people's photos and like people's photos and make sure you're consistently interacting with people and that's how you're going to start getting people and people are gonna notice your comments people may just stumble over seeing your comment and may click your account and then may be interested to follow you so you really need to put yourself out there you need to comment you need to do engagement because if you don't then it's less likely people are gonna find you so the more that you're out there the more likely people will find you and then in turn will follow you another thing with that is share your Instagram on all your other social media platforms so if you're someone like me who has um, does YouTube or even if you're not just posting on a Facebook Facebook <laughs> posting on Facebook Twitter Pinterest Tumblr there's so many different things now musically so many things so posting it all on there but one thing that you should take in mind, post different content to Instagram. So post content that people will only find on Instagram. So for example, I post a lot of outfit posts that aren't shown on any of my other social media. So when I, I let you guys know that so you can go see even more of my life and it just gets people to learn even more about you if you do that. If you have different types of photos or different types of things uploaded on your social media so people are more interested to go check it out while if everything is the same people are gonna be like well I already follow her on this why would I want to see it both times why would I want to see it double you know what I mean and with that using the new feature of Instagram stories is super good because I find it gets people to notice your account more you can also post any photos or anything videos and stuff like that that don't really go with your feed so uploading it on your Instagram story is also gonna keep you consistent and it's gonna get people interested and as well as your Instagram stories I noticed they get featured a lot of people's Instagram stories get featured and I actually found a lot of people through seeing people's Instagram through stories and I have clicked them and sometimes have followed people so that's a really good way as well so if you're not gonna post on your Instagram make sure you're at least trying to post on your Instagram story even though Instagram you're a little shady because you stole snapchat it's like the same thing as snapchat Chat, but we're not going to talk about how shady Instagram is <laughs> but definitely be using that new feature because it's definitely going to get your Instagram out there it's going to make you more active and it's going to get people more interested in you and as well as when you are uploading photos and stuff like that there's so many things you could do use hashtags and use geotags obviously don't use a ton of hashtags but using a little bit of popular hashtags that are relevant to your photo may get different people to come to your photo so don't just do like like for like follow for follow maybe if it's like an outfit outfit post you can do like outfit inspo or outfit o OTD and stuff like that because that's more like popular and it's not like asking people follow me like me and stuff like that and as well as geotagging so make sure you tag where you are from so um, of course don't take if you're like close to your house or stuff like that so you don't want people to know where you live but for example I take a lot Toronto because Toronto it's a very general Toronto is really big so it's not like I'm posting exactly where I live or if I do go on vacation I always take where I'm at so like Las Vegas I've used that geotag if you're in Europe use their geotag so definitely post where you are and stuff like that but obviously make be careful with that because you don't want people to you know like be super creeps so you got to be careful with that but putting in general like where you're from like saying you're from a certain state in the United States or for me you're saying you're from a province so that's very general and but it's also gonna get new people to maybe find your account and then in turn follow you another little tip I have for you guys is to find accounts that will share your post so there are so many accounts that will share your post post there are uh, travel accounts that will share your post fashion accounts I know even like even clothing stores like forever 21 if you use their hashtag I think it's like FX 21 me and if they like their photo they repost a lot of people's outfit posts so really trying to find those accounts that are gonna repost your photo because that's gonna obviously get you even more engagement and a lot of the times there's accounts that just have inspiration and it says DM for photo inquiry so if you want to submit one of your photos and ask if you can be put into it there's so many accounts that you could do that and just Google it up 
search it up, look at different even clothing stores or travel accounts and stuff like that and a lot of people will repost post your photo and then will tag you and that's just going to get you even more people and you'll get their followers as well. So it's going to help build your account and then more people are going to notice you as well. Also when it comes to posting a photo, I like to do this a lot as well and that is asking your audience a question. Like if it's a photo with their best friend, asking them to tag their best friend or asking them what their favorite movie is at the moment and stuff like that. Just asking engaging questions because the more engagement you get, the more popular your photo will be. Think about a clever caption and think about asking a question within that caption because that's really going to help with engagement. And with that, make sure that you're talking to your audience. You mention them, make sure you're answering some comments. It just allows people to know that you will engage with them and you are like down to earth. And I like to answer a lot of my comments or at least like people's comments. I do that a ton. I try my best to comment back and forth and like your comments and like your posts and stuff like that because I think it's really important because at the end of the day, you have to be grateful for the people that are supporting you because if it wasn't for the people supporting you, you would have nothing. So I think it's really important to make sure that that's a part of your um, day when it comes to if you're on social media, even YouTube, I spend a lot of time answering comments because I think that's the most important thing. In the end of the day, I know my place and I know I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for any of you guys. Whether it's my Instagram, my Twitter, my um, Snapchat, my YouTube, I know I wouldn't be where I am without you guys and I think it's really important to engage with you guys and it's one of the reasons why I like to do social media, to be honest, is to engage with you because if there wasn't you guys, to be honest, I'd be really lonely and like, I don't, I don't think I'd like it as much because I love talking to you guys. Like human interaction is what I love and what I want. So definitely be humble and answer back to your supporters. So those are all the tips I have for you guys, my tips and tricks on how to grow your Instagram. I hope this helped. If you guys want more videos like this, a thumbs up. Leave a comment telling me what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see like how to get good photos, stuff like that, let me know. Just leave a comment. And as well, don't forget to go over to my Instagram. Have to throw it out there again since you know this whole video is about Instagram. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because your girl uploads every other day here on my channel. And as well as I hope you guys are having an amazing day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!